When Act I of The Crucible begins, Reverend Paris is kneeling by the bed of his comatose daughter, Betty, pleading with God to awaken her. Abigail Williams and Susanna bring news from Dr. Griggs. Susanna says the doctor has found no explanation for Betty's disorder and that he should consider sorcery. Reverend Paris interrogates Abigail about the girl's activities in the forest and questions why Tichiba was swaying over the fire. She says they were just dancing while Tichiba sang songs, and then Betty fainted when he jumped out of the woods, but she denies that they were naked. Mrs. Ann Putnam enters and is glad to hear witchcraft is finally being discussed. She shares gossip about Betty flying and news about her daughter Ruth sleepwalking. She also suspects a witch murdered her previous seven children during their infancy. Her husband, Thomas, a wealthy landowner, also believes witchcraft is rampant in Salem, and he accuses those landowners, whose land he covets, of witchcraft. When pressed further, Abigail admits Tichiba and Ruth called up spirits. Mercy Lewis arrives and reports that Ruth has awoken from sleepwalking. Mr. and Mrs. Putnam accompany Reverend Paris downstairs where people are praying. Abigail, Mercy, and Mary Warren discuss their previous night's activities. Abigail commands the girls never to speak of their sinful actions because if the truth comes out, they will be whipped. She threatens to cast a spell on any girl who disobeys. In The Crucible, the Reverend Samuel Paris is the character who sows the seeds of hysteria. He strives to be the leader ruling the Massachusetts Bay Colony in 1692. His laws are based on the Bible, and he judges his congregation's thoughts and actions accordingly. Although the original pilgrims may have come to America to gain religious freedom, the Puritans of 1692 condemned any original thought or belief that did not mesh with their religion. Since they fear being excommunicated for any unorthodox opinions, the townspeople accept Reverend Paris's dictates without question. Their fears, combined with Reverend Paris's discovery of the girls and Tichiba's activities, create a perfect storm for a witch hunt. The girls latch on to sorcery as the cause of their condition to avoid being whipped and publicly humiliated for disobeying the theocracy's laws. Reverend Paris acts to protect his position of power within the community, which is threatened by his daughter's participation in the night's events, by interrogating and threatening Tichiba, Abigail, and the other girls. The Salem witch hunt becomes an interlocking series of causes and effects driven, for the most part, by the selfish motivations of the citizens.